What's up guys, I'm Jasinski. Welcome back to Spirit Fair. In the last episode, we met Stella and Daffodil here and began our journey as the new Spirit Fairer taking over from Charon. And we will be finding uh, dying souls and taking them to the afterlife. We also met Gwen over here who wanted some jellyfish if I remember correctly. Um, ah yes, we can look through our stuff here, our inventory. I believe it. Yeah, our, can our captain's log. Go hunt down some jellyfish. We gotta find some jellyfish now. How are we gonna find those jellyfish? Maybe if we go fishing, maybe? Let's see. Um, or maybe we can go into the map room. Ah, I remember the controls. And find our way there. Aha, yes. There's the jellyfish. That's where we're going. How's it going? Gwen? Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave one here in our house. As we just sail off to our next destination. I think this will be... Well, I want to hug Daffodil. Yeah, my cat. My favorite kitty. Oh, got one. An old shoe. <laughs> I'm so happy about that old shoot. Whoa, this is uh, what in the world is happening? Is this? Here we are. Why does this seem horribly evil, Gwen? Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the one with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What's what are we doing? What's going on? Uh, hello? Do I just... Oh, I just stand in front of them. Okay. Can I dodge those green ones, I guess? Oh, no. The green ones have the bright jelly. Okay, I need to hit those. Ooh, I can't reach those. I'll have to go on top of a building. Hit. No! I gotta get those. One of those has the bright jelly. Yep, there we go. Oh, I'm sliding off of the roof. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll just sit here and grab these. There's another bright jelly. Oh my God, doing some dang epic tricks here to get these. You know, it's just, it's kind of simple gameplay, but it's nice and mind melting. Oh my god, that's a lot. I gotta get all those. I'm greedy. More bright jelly for me. I'm kind of getting good at this. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of whooping these jellyfish. I don't see what the big deal was, Gwen. Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Well, thank you. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear, no hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Slowly digesting myself. Okay. Alright. Let's build that kitchen. Alright. Got the garden and the kitchen. So we'll build the kitchen. Um... I mean, right there seems the best place. And yeah, we got the kitchen. Lovely kitchen. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's dope. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simpler. Simple, rather. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Oh, of course, I am a master of the cooking. Cook. 
Uh, I guess I'll make some corn. Cook. And it's done. Oh my god. <laughs> Glowing oven mitts. Popcorn. I can smell it. And we also got some fish here. Oh, that'll take some time to cook. So I guess I'll just go give this to her. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Uh, food. There you go. Well, I won't die just yet. She turned it into cake, apparently. Thanks, Stella. It's still better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. You need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure to remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee! But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. There's never the same thing twice. Okay, then. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an O-ball is a symbol of passage. Oh, the fish is done. It's free each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. It's too dark to navigate. It'll be possible getting it done. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and garden blueprint, mm -hmm. which means you can grow many different things. Uh, hurry up, Gwen. I think my fish might be burning, which means you can grow many different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use it. Ah, uh, Gwen, my fish! Mm -hmm. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. Mm -hmm. My fish! My fish! My fish! Oh, it's not burnt! That's awesome! I thought it would be burned. That sucks. Stella, what? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this boat stops at night. Yeah, I noticed. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go. And this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Do you even have a bed? <laughs> no, you don't. You just have a couch, Gwen. Are you just going to sleep on that couch? Uh, no. She sleeps standing up. Good for her. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's see about this garden she was talking about. Okay, we don't have the materials for it yet. We need quite a few more things to build it. But I guess we can go to sleep after I hug Daffodil! Alrighty. Is it morning now? Toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Oh, okay. It'll tell us what time it is. Alrighty. Good morning, Stella. Good morning! Time for us to head to the next destination. Oh boy, we can just go wherever we want right now. Um, crates. You know what? We need to go there because we need some materials to actually build a garden that we want. Yes. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm -hmm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Uh, my cat or your cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And then you were yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. <laughs> Okay, so apparently we've known Gwen for a long time now. Does that mean we died too? That's a... I was wondering, like, did we die and that's why Karen chose us? Because I 
could we not be chosen unless we died or what? I don't really know. Uh, oh, what's going on? Oh, are we hitting the materials? Do I need to jump out? Yes, I need to make sure I grab these. Oh, yes, I need to actually grab these. That's good to know. Oh, we can grab muscles off the side of the ship. That's cool. And when we jump out, the ship will stop. Okay, that's good to know. Well, we got the crate. Um, do we have a Is there going to be another one? Or is that all the crates? I must see. Eh, back. Get back on the ship! Yeah, that was the crate we needed to grab. All right, so we should be able to build our garden now. No, we're still short. Lightning in a bottle. Where in the world will we get that? Seeds, treasures, woods, and ores. Hmm. And that's Mostine Cove. Uh, we'll go get those crates, and then we will go to Mostine Cove. We got the mussels. Um... You know what? Let's cook one of those. I don't know what it would end up being. I bet popcorn is a comfort food, but I don't know yet. How long will it take to cook that muscle? It'll take a little bit. Muscles are done. Steamed shellfish. What kind of food are those? Uh, acquired taste. Oh, we're here. Mostine Co. Let's see what Gwen has to say. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Heck yes. Let's go. Alrighty, let's see what's going on over here. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Alright. Everlight Axe! Oh no, we're doing saws. Oh, I have to actually control the saw. <laughs> That's great. Good job, Daffodil. Oh, and it just turns into the wood I need. Well done. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. Do you go on ahead, cutting down more trees? Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Heck yeah. What oh, we got in here? Berries? Raspberries? Heck yeah. Alright, let's find an, uh, another tree we can cut down. There's one. Good job, Daffodil. Ooh, there's more stuff this way. I must explore! Ooh, okay. This is a mining node, so I gotta hold X as long as possible to break a mine. Ooh, okay. I have to hold it as long as possible and then let go of it. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got tons of limestone there. Okay. Ooh, can we actually go across here? Nope. Is Daffodil... Daffodil is on his ball. He's on his Everlight ball. Well, cats don't like water. That makes sense. All right, we should go back to the ship now. Because I think we need that limestone anyways. All right, let's build this field. Question is, where do we build it? You know what? Um... Uh, I want to build it right here. That seems like a good spot. Like right above the kitchen. A field! Yes! Indeed! Oh, oh, let me slide across the roof here. A field. Ha! Huh, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Now all I have to do is plant field seeds here. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds can't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. 
But you know me. I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up a shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem with dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to the Hummingbird, then. Mm -hmm. We just need to find some seeds for that field. I think I already have some seeds. Do I? I guess I don't, since I can't plant anything here. Oh, I know I can. Yeah, see, I have seeds. I'll plant a linen seed. Okay, we need water. Oh, no, I can just... Yeah, I can use the Everlight to water it. Heck, yeah. All right, coffee beans. Yes, coffee beans. We need those for Gwen. And then a corn seed. See, we got seeds. We're totally fine, Gwen. Don't even worry about it. But of course, we still need to go to Hummingbird just so we can continue the story. But we will do that in the next episode. So if you guys like this episode and want to see more, please leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. Make sure you ring that bell notification button. That way you always know when the next episode comes out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Farewell.